there's no way that the corporations and Google and YouTube little scheme to silence independent media is going to work. It's mm-hmm. just not going to happen. You know, no. the truth cannot be silenced. That's right. It can't. Now, let me get uh, a, right. a brief plug out here because if you are interested, and by the way, uh, I have I've had people. The majority of our volunteers are like, oh, I don't know what I can do. Like, uh, uh, technically, I'm not versed, but you know, I'm an accountant. And I know how to do spreadsheets. That person was assigned to the task of of putting together our list. So, so we need volunteers right now to help us get organized, and we the people are going to come together. Now, this is the all call of all calls right now. Okay, and it's not a call uh, to arms to go anywhere and go do anything like I've I've done in the past. I'm actually I've moved on from that. I've evolved, and we are now literally going to uh, we're going to arm ourselves with information with the truth, and we're going to build a coalition of like-minded individuals that will not just shun the uh, the establishment by, by sending somebody to Washington, D.C. Now, by the way, politically, I don't want to get into this discussion with you, Mike, but I believe that people were so pissed off at the establishment that they were willing to put you know, a multi-billionaire Donald Trump uh, uh, salesperson in the White House. He, I believe he represents the will of the people saying no to the establishment. I like that concept. I want to put it on steroids, and I want to say... Let's shun, let's shun the establishment. Hold on one second. Let's shun the fake news, and now let's shun the fake internet that purports to be flowing information freely because it's not flowing information freely. We'll flow information freely among us, but this fake internet needs to be shunned as well. Oh, absolutely. I think you're kind of right about Trump in a sense, and, and, and here, here's what it is. Trump is a wild card. It, a mainstream uh, Democrat or Republican owes a thousand favors by the time they even get to the, the primary to run mm-hmm. for president, okay? Like, uh, Trump used his own money, so that puts him, in in a way, you know, for his own advertising, as he used his own fame, his own marketing strategies, his own everything, pretty much to put himself where he was, and or where he is, and that is viewed as dangerous to the establishment. But I have to say, he's just a, a plutocrat like all the rest of them. I wouldn't, as an anarchist, I don't even vote for president. But I understand the political nuances. The 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 and, and Trump is viewed as a wild card or someone who can't be predicted. He pretty much does what he wants, and that scares the piss out of the mainstream left and right. Yeah. So I think uh, this media coup you're talking about, it's correct. Yeah. But like I said, I have no love for Trump. He's just like he's he's another politician. And that's the way fine. You can tell when a politician is lying is yes. their, their lips are moving. Yes, yeah, that's <laughs> right. And guess that. guess what else is uh, is authentic about what we're going to do? Okay, because right now, and, and I, I'm not going to pick on Alex Jones. I'm going to use this model to illustrate my point that that the host of a show that people are tuning into for the truth. And I tuned into him for ten years. I listened to Alex Jones. Okay. And at the time, there was no way to interact with a host uh, and hold them accountable, or call them out, or or or, or question and say, "Ah, oh, you know what? Uh, you know, Donald Trump's building up uh, the police state a little bit heavily, and uh, you know, why 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 are you not covering that side of the story?" Uh, well, that you is don't... kind of true, but Obama did the same thing. He did he the did. same thing. Whatever. But, but guess what? <laughs> he did. We, You're right. <laughs> we need right now. There are no. Uh, there are no uh, major. Radio talk show hosts, co- commenters, people that understand and can analyze the news the way we do, journalists that are out there on a daily basis doing this professionally, that interact with their the, the people that matter the most, and that are the steak and potatoes people that that are that are in the threads, that are tuning in, that are that are supporting these guys. You can't interact with with uh, with Sean Hannity on Fox News. He's got a one way uh, jabber uh, microphone. He does put out a lot of good information. But, but you can't interact with him and engage in conversation. Social media broadcasting. I'm going to hereby declare the mainstream media and that model to be officially dead. Can we just declare it dead? <laughs> the mainstream media is dead based on what they did uh, this week. The Clinton News Network is gone. Everyone will, they're all, they've been running from the mainstream media for, for years now. They're officially dead. Now I'm also going to say that this old model of doing you know, radio shows where where this microphone right here for you uh, uh, people that are visually uh, uh, seeing it, this microphone uh, is, you know, if I don't allow you to, to engage in conversation with me, it's a one-way communicator. I'm putting out my propaganda, and you guys uh, can't challenge me. But guess what? 
People want to engage in the conversation. We've already seen it. We've tested this. Mm -hmm. We have literally had full-blown conversations. I've opened up our chat rooms. You can engage with me via chat, okay? Uh, we're not going to do any breaks. We're not going to do any formal uh, radio uh, show because guess what? Social media broadcasting and being supported by our listenership is the wave of the future and to engage in conversations. Now, when a major false flag event takes place or major civil unrest takes place and we grab that feed from one of our 3,142 citizen journalists okay, that, that are on the ground, that are reporting the truth, they're live streaming it up to us, who do you think they're going to tune into? CNN? And, no, and get, they're going to turn into the person that's on the ground that's there live looking at it. That's right. And that's we're right. going to grab their feed, <laughs> and we're going to analyze it. We're going to get interviews. We're going to grab it, and we're going to, we're going to put it up in a central location. Because guess what? One guy with, a, with, a, with, a, with an iPhone uh, that's grabbing the truth, and he's got an angle on it, uh, on, on the truth, and he's broadcasting it, he may only be broadcasting to, let's say, a couple thousand people. We're going to grab it, and we're going to set it up so that we can broadcast it to the millions. And guess what? We don't need Viagra to support that. Why? Because Viagra will come in and say, <laughs> no, I say, I say Viagra. Or I home, know what you're saying. Or Home Depot. We don't need Home Depot to support that because what happens with YouTube when they don't like what's being said because there's extremism out there and we need to shut that thing down and they cut off the money supply and everybody, that's a form of censorship. And we want to counter Absolutely. that. We want to counter it and we will. We the people will come together as like-minded individuals. Okay, And you're hearing, by the way, somebody that wore a bear hat Okay, who spoke and articulated more about our constitutional values than some of the so-called patriots that 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 actually uh they stood down when the fbi asked them to stand down at my first amendment protest out in front of the fbi we had patriots stand down and violate my constitutional rights mm -hmm. so we have people even within conservative circles uh that 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 are not articulating exactly what we need to articulate here is that we have a right to freely assemble we have a right to express ourselves and those rights cannot be violated there are unalienable rights Okay, you cannot violate yep. my right to get the truth. Okay, from CNN or the national news media, the trusted name in in news or Fox News for that matter. You cannot. But well, oh, go I, ahead. I'd like to interject something right quick, Pete. Yeah. Um, here's the thing, right? Here's how the government is going to succeed in taking all of our civil liberties. When there is a protest that's mostly left wing and everyone on the right cheerleads, like arrest them, put them in prison, tear gas them, beat mm -hmm. them up, throw the book at them, you're, you, what you're doing on the right is cheerleading for your own enslavement, and vice versa. When wow. the Mount here occupation happened in uh, in in Oregon out here, and everybody on the left was saying you guys were terrorists, and and you know you need to be have the book thrown at you, and they they hope that they they shoot you, and you know all, all this all this horrible vitriol stuff. The thing is, is that they were cheerleading for their own enslavement. That's how they do it. Something people need to start realizing is we need to defend one another's right of expression, our, our right of freedom of, uh, of speech, our natural human right to defend ourselves. As if, though, uh, if they take Pete Santilli's rights or Mike Bluehair's rights or a communist rights or, you know, some alt-right guy's rights, they're coming for yours next, and that's the thing. Government is never satisfied with just taking one, uh, you know, one side of the poli political uh, spectrum civil liberties. They're coming for everyone's civil liberties. So we need to start defending one another's civil liberties as if though the affront was visited upon our heads. That's how we can uh, promote a culture of liberty in this country, is that as if though we start reacting to someone else's usurpation of their rights as if though it happened to us. That's that's the only way. It's incumbent on the American people to keep our own civil liberties, or we're going to lose them. 